So uh, about George uh, Massengill, uh, probably almost a year ago, uh, introduced me to John um, by the phone, and he said, uh, John's a good dude, sponsor whatever he tells you to do because he's a winner. And I was like, uh, okay, sounds good. And I was telling uh, Ken and Eric about it before. Is, you know, we sponsor a lot of stuff. We do a lot of events. And um, John's diligence since we started just this, the amount of phone calls and emails you sent us, I mean, it's better than any sponsorship we've done. I mean, the Diamond, the Platinums, all the conferences, you know, the amount of uh, you know, effort you put into this has been amazing. So I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I, uh, you know, we have treatment centers um, in the southeast. Uh, if you want to know more about them, you can talk to John or grab me tomorrow. Um, we do great stuff, like I'm sure a lot of you guys do. Um, they're real nice if you want to visit. You probably want to stay. I'm kind of resentful because I never went to treatment. Um, I feel like I was cheated. I uh, got sober through monitoring for the, uh, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department. <laughs> And, um, and if it wouldn't have uh, intervened, I got sober when I was pretty young, and if they wouldn't have intervened, and uh, their monitoring involves, you know, home incarceration and a bracelet, and they were very, uh, very structured in what they said I couldn't do or could do, and my accountability plan was if I would defer, you know, my little thing would go off, they'd come pick me up and i go to jail. So um, kind of like doctors and pilots, um, the plan was very clear, you know, and, you know, for me... Um, you know, so I live in Nashville, so music is a big part of uh, Nashville, a big part of recovery, and, um, you know, we have, you know, songwriters and do songwriting, and uh, I've seen it's a very powerful thing. Um, but, you know, for me, the, the two most important part of treatment is uh, getting in and getting out. You know, treatment's not that hard. I mean, if you come to one of our places, I mean, it's super nice. I mean, you'll want to stay, you know. I mean, uh, you know, with horses and equine and, you know, music and great food and, um, and everybody's happy and, you know, treatment's really not that hard. The, the hard parts are um, getting in and getting out. So when people talk about, you know, the process supporting of getting people into treatment, and especially when they talk about getting out, um, that's the, the very important stuff to me. Um, I'm a big advocate of uh, using technology and software to stay connected with patients post-treatment um, because, uh, you know, patients get better in their environments and their families always don't. And... Um, it's a real hard transition, you know. If 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 you're pretty, um, if you've had a rough way to go, but until you know in your life till you get to treatment, and then uh, everybody loves you and it's great and everything, and have to go back to that is is really hard, and and that's why we uh, we see. So we, we offer. Um, it's important to me that anybody that comes to any any anybody that we touch in any of our facilities, we coach them for a year, um, and we stay connected with from a year. And the benefits to that between uh, you know research and outcomes and family support. Um, you know, the truth is, no matter how good we do a treatment, uh, the majority of people that leave our center are going to need help again, and it's probably going to be pretty soon. Um, so we've, it's, it, it's probably been the, the biggest part of, um, you know, my personal recovery and, and kind of career-wise um, has been to figure out how we stay connected with people post-treatment. And there's so many ways. Events like this, you know, alumni, and the collaboration between facilities, that's what's so important. I mean, there's no lack of business, you know, um, maybe down here in South Florida, but in Tennessee, there's no lack. Um, you know, just, you know, whether it's a preferred provider list or, you know, people that support this kind of stuff, you know, how do we collaborate? And we were talking, you know, a little earlier about, you know, um, collaborating on alumni events, concerts, music, anything. I mean, just the more ability we have to, to be able to touch people post-treatment, um, you know, really saves lives. Um, where I'm from in Kentucky, uh, we're not winning the battle there, you know, and uh, it's hard. And uh, so there's just no services, you know. I mean, there's detox, which is super important, you know, but then there's just nothing afterward. And, um, and, and, and there's just there's a lot of young guys and a lot of young girls that are dying there, and um, it's, it's, it's just really hard. So, you know, I'm... I'm Anytime there's any kind of movement or a nonprofit that involves people that are sober and getting together and sharing their story and having fun, I mean, we'll always support it, you know, because it's just, it's just super important. And um, I just want to thank, thank John again uh, for letting us be involved in something like this. And um, we're going to go ahead and start planning for the one in uh, Nashville.
right? <laughs> Thanks, guys.